Obama's already there. He's making his case big time for a military strike in Syria. Congressman Mike Turner, Republican from Ohio, joins us now. Congressman, uh, I know you oppose any kind of strike. I got that. Do you have any suggestion that the president's full court press from him and all of his aides this entire weekend, any reason to believe that it swayed any of your colleagues amongst Democrats or Republicans to vote yes on an attack? Now, the, the basic questions that everyone's asking is, who are we for? You know, the president doesn't have any strategy. Uh, he can't tell us who we're for. He can't tell us what the risks are. And he has an unexplainable policy with his imaginary red line of where over, you know, 100,000 people in Syria have been killed. Uh, Assad can't use chemical weapons, but he already has. Um, and the president's now saying, but it's in the large numbers of, of deaths that have occurred. So now we can take action again without telling us who we're for. And the president also has shown no leadership why sequestration continues to be crushing well, to our Department of Defense. I mean, now, he's basically he, told he, he people the in the nation. military that, that we don't have enough money. Now, he addresses the nation at 9 o'clock Eastern tomorrow night from the Oval Office, big address to the country. Do you think he can sell his proposal at all? Can he change that many votes? You know, not from what I'm hearing from you know, other members of Congress or even from the people here in Ohio. If, if he doesn't have a, an understanding of who we are for, um, and he certainly has not you know, done his homework. He's not galvanized the international community. Uh, he has no plan or real strategy. Okay. At the same time, you know, sequestration is a real issue. I'm sorry to jump in, Congressman, but you've obviously been back to your constituents sure. over the weekend and, and over the summer. What are, you, what are they telling you? Well, in my community, we have Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and over 12,000 people have been furloughed through sequestration. One of their main issues is, you know, when is the president going to show leadership in fully funding the Department of Defense? He's currently saying to people who work there, we don't have enough money to pay you, but we have enough money to take us into this conflict. Also, people are, are very reticent to do this without an understanding of the president articulating who are we for? Uh, he is unable to explain uh, why we would be doing this other than the fact that he has declared this imaginary red line. You're a firm no, no way, not going to go for any kind of attack. That's your position, sir? Well, if the president went back and did his homework and galvanized the international community and made this an, an, an issue where the international community was taking a response, that would be different. As a, as a solely American response, um, I, don't, uh, I don't see this going through the House. I don't see members of Congress voting for this. Congressman and Mike Turner, Republican, Ohio. Thank you very much for joining us on a very busy day, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you.